Next Door Neighbors is made possible by the support of the Nissan Foundation. We're about to start, everyone. So grab your refreshments, have a seat. With a population of around 15 to 20,000, the Ethiopian community in Nashville has grown in recent years. Today, most are coming for education, but many first-generation immigrants still struggle with the language and experience isolation in their new home. Traditions bring comfort, and one of the most important traditions in Ethiopian culture is the coffee ceremony. Coffee ceremony is not only about drinking a coffee. It's all about sharing your experience. It could be uh, some life issues that you have right that moment. So people will sit and chit chat and converse about what's going on in their life. Most of the time they have a solution that comes from the other end. So the coffee ceremony is a way of getting together and conversing about life. Yerga Alam Belicho was one of the first Ethiopians to make her home in Nashville. She recalls the days when her mother performed the coffee ceremony in their home village. My mother used to make coffee and she would call her neighbors to come to the house. And this is a ritual thing. Everybody takes turn to make coffee. It takes almost about two hours from the beginning to the end. During that time, it's really therapeutic for the mothers to talk about their family, the husband, the children, what kind of problem they have. They talk about solutions. Yerga fears that in today's world, there may not be room for age-old customs like the coffee ceremony, at least not in the form that she once knew it. The social life is changed. They, they don't have time. Today, the Ethiopian community is finding a new place for the coffee ceremony. Helena Felik works with the Ethiopian Community Association in Nashville, also known as ECAN. She and other leaders are using the coffee ceremony format as a way of dealing with issues that affect the community. In Ethiopia, coffee is not just a drink. You know what to expect when you are invited for coffee. Somebody wants to talk to you about something. At this coffee ceremony, ECAN invited the Metro Police Department to create a two-way conversation around Ethiopian culture and police practices. If you see a police officer, don't be scared. I just encourage everybody to understand the law a little bit more, take the time to, you know, interact with officers. We Ethiopians have culturally struggled with assimilating with American culture. ECAN is trying to bridge the gap between the Ethiopian community and police, having a stronger relationship. Also, for, on the other side, we want police officers to understand our culture. This coffee ceremony gives a chance, I mean, to people to gather together and to discuss personal as well as societal problems or issues. That's good. Next Door Neighbors is made possible by the support of the Nissan Foundation.